I can't think of a better way and place to wake up to. With the sound of the waves all night, it was one of the best sleeps in a very, very long time. No one was in a hurry to leave, for obvious reasons. What goes up must come down with an extremely heavy laden land cruiser having to pull a heavy laden trailer it was always going to be a challenge to get out of our little piece of paradise and yes in case you're wondering those tires were deflated it was time to bring out the toys Just keep digging guys, I know it's there. See, I told you. But I guess we'll take the easier way out rather. No harm done in trying it. Right, let's get the show on the road again. Now to find the perfect spot for a healthy brunch before heading to Groenreviermond and on to the Cedarburg. It is honestly not difficult to understand why people fall in love with this part of the country. Let's hope that this beautiful area can be kept this way.
You have to stop and smell the roses. No use in racing through this pristine area. These twin tracks all along the coast make for an enjoyable drive. If you find yourself in a hurry, for some other reason, there is a main track deeper in that you could follow. We eventually found our perfect brunch spot. Time to light the fire, open the tents so that they can dry after the dew of the early morning and to just relax. Little father son bonding time never did any harm. These are nature's little shot glasses. Voorstel aan een Veskus shooter glas. Trachter shooter om te drinken, maar ik ga het niet. Ik zal me eerder niet zeer bij die vinden, maar chill. Time to head to our destination for the evening. Oerlochskloof Nature Reserve just outside of Nivertsville. We still had some serious driving to do. Passing Grun Refirmont, it was soon time to reinflate tires before hitting the tar road once again.
distance lies the Van Rijns Pass with its beautiful views, especially with the sun starting to set. Going to be difficult to beat this kind of view. You realize that you are really small in the greater scheme of things. eventually arrive in Nivetsville and head out to our campsite for the evening. Hello, can you hear me? And just like that, we arrive and start settling in for the evening of socializing around the campfire. It was a long day, but oh, so worth it. Be sure to catch the next episode of our West Coast Adventure.